Today I'm going to do an ombre for you and I've got to tell you this is worth watching all the way to the end because it's one of my favorite colors I've ever done. So with this color I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use the Synchro Lift with Paul Mitchell and 20 volume and we're going to alternate it with a high lift with 10 level 10 and 30 volume because I want a real natural finish to it. And my model Alejandra doesn't want anything that she's going to have to keep up or it's going to have high maintenance. So let's just go ahead and start on the side here and I'm going to show you my technique. So of course this can be done so many different ways but for today because I want to keep it really subtle what I'm going to do is take a real thin section and I'm actually going to take a weave and then I'm going to give it a light little back comb and start applying. I'm going to start with the synchro and the 20 volume. So you can see here I want to break it up. So before I even grab the foil, I'm going to just start off with a little bit of color just so we get a nice blend. You can see I'm keeping the hair nice and taut. Quite a bit of tension there as I'm applying the color. Always think it's important so when you put the foil on you really want to get a lot of color on the hair even though we're keeping it subtle I've back combed it I've weaved it so there's not a lot of hair there so I want to make sure it's completely saturated with the color So now I basically just work my way around the whole head. Now I'm alternating, so I'm doing two of the high lift tint, the 10 and the 30 volume, to one of the synchro lift and the 20 volume. Uh, just because I want to break it up a little bit with the synchro, but I let it sit under the dryer for a good 25 minutes to 30 minutes. So after shampooing it and rinsing it out, we start the drying process and you can see already what's going on with the color. It's amazing. I absolutely love the way this turned out. So as I'm drying it, I'm just giving it a little bit of curl down the bottom with the round brush. I love using the ball bristle brush for this reason. Look, I've got to tell you, this is one of my favorite colors I've ever done. I love the way it turned out. So let's just go ahead and grab where we started from so you can see the side by side because it's very important that you notice. Look, I love the way this color turned out. It's probably one of my favorite ombres I've ever done. I love the result. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, check out some of my other stuff. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Hey, thank you so much just for watching this video.